Rhynchocephalia is an order of lizard-like reptiles, Pleurosaurus lived in the warm shallow seas and lagoons that covered most of Europe during the Jurassic. These swimming sphenodontians had an elongated body, pointed triangular snouts with retracted nostrils, short flipper-like forelimbs, and especially long eel-like tails. Soft tissue impressions also show scaly skin covering their bodies and a frill running along the top of the tail. Sphenodotan, with an estimated skull length of 10 cm, is relatively large for rhynchocephalians. Many of the niches occupied by lizards today were held by sphenodontians during the Triassic and Jurassic, although lizard diversity began to overtake sphenodontian diversity in the Cretaceous, and they had disappeared almost entirely by the beginning of the Cenozoic. Species of Clevisaurus were likely insectivorous. Biomechanical modeling suggests that they had high enough tooth pressures and strong enough bite force to crush chitin, indicating that they had the ability to feed on thick-shelled beetles as well as possibly small vertebrates. They also have a unique form of implantation, where the base of the teeth sit deeply within the jaw bones, which is not known of in any other rhynchocephalian. Like some squamates, Sphenodontians retains a parietal eye, which has been lost in the other groups of extant reptiles, the turtles and archosaurs. They distinguish from squamates by some traits that are considered primitive, visible in basal forms of reptiles. As you can see, despite their lizard-like appearance, Tuatara aren't true lizards. They are now the only living members of their order. They grow at a slow rate and have an extremely long lifespan compared to other reptiles, they can live for well over 100 years. They are ectothermic, meaning they rely on external sources of heat to regulate their body temperature. However, they can be sensitive to temperature changes and are often found basking in the sun to warm up. Male tuatara has a unique reproductive system called cloacal excretion. Instead of using a penis to transfer sperm to the female, they excrete sperm through the cloaca, a single opening used for reproduction and waste elimination. Huahuacuatzpalli lived in east-central Mexico, its limb proportions indicate it would have been a bipedal runner, making it one of the earliest known examples of this type of locomotion in lizards. Its skull also had some features convergent with varanids, suggesting it may have had a similar sort of active pursuit hunting ecology. The most notable feature about Xianglong is its bizarre oversized ribs, eight on each side, which were attached to a membrane of body tissue and allowed the lizard to glide. The ribs of the animal, which functioned as gliding organs, were found in a half-open position, which indicates a post-mortem relaxation of the folded wing. So far this is the only known fossil gliding lizard, though there are other unrelated animals that also use their ribs to glide. Its affinities with other lizards remain uncertain. Based on its anatomical features, it is believed that Icarosaurus likely lived in trees and used its gliding ability to move between branches or escape predators. During the late Triassic, the areas where it lived were characterized by lush forests and a warm climate. These environments provided ideal conditions for arboreal reptiles like Icarosaurus to thrive. Like previous animals shown, and because of its small wings, Quenyosaurus would not have been able to glide. However, it would have been able to parachute down from the trees in its environment with extensive agility and control. Given its common nature, it probably lived in loose social groups, whether or not it showed more complex social behavior, including parental care. Jiragua dwarf gecko is the world's smallest known reptile. It measures 1.8 cm from the snout to the base of the tail and can fit on a US 25-cent coin. 
Its preferred natural habitat is the leaf litter of the forest floor of dry forests with limestone substratum. They are distinguished from other Gakota by their small size, their round eye pupils and by each digit terminating in a single, round adhesive scale, from which their name is derived. The Tokay gecko is easily recognizable due to its striking appearance. They are highly arboreal, spending much of their time in trees and are well adapted to climbing vertical surfaces. When threatened, they can become aggressive and may bite. Additionally, they have a unique defense mechanism where they can emit loud, high-pitched distress calls, which can startle predators and alert potential threats. Like other species of gecko, individuals of Schlegel's Japanese gecko primarily eat insects. The species is capable of autotomy, and will separate its tail from its body to escape predators. While this process avoids bleeding, as blood vessels at the base of the tail close to prevent blood loss, the gecko does lose a supply of fat tissue, which it can use during periods where food is scarce. The common flat-tailed gecko is a large nocturnal gecko. Because the eyes are extremely sensitive to light, 350 times more sensitive than the human eye, the species is able to see in colors even at night. By day it plasters itself to a small tree trunk and rests head down. If disturbed it will raise its tail and head, open its mouth and scream. With suitably large eyes, the leaf-tailed gecko moves about its rainforest habitat at night feeding on insects. Habitat destruction and deforestation in Madagascar is the primary threat to this animal's future as well as collection for the pet trade. The adhesive scales under the fingers and toes of the satanic leaf-tailed gecko and their strong curved claws enable them to move adeptly through the trees. It is somewhat of an expert at avoiding predators, not only through their incredible mimicry but through a number of behaviors. They can flatten their body against the substrate to reduce the body's shadow, open their jaws wide to show a frightening, bright red mouth, and voluntarily shed their tail in order to trick a predator. The yellow-spotted tropical night lizard is a secretive, terrestrial and nocturnal lizard of tropical wet and moist forests, at altitudes from sea level to 1,500 meters mostly found on the ground, it is occasionally found on tree trunks or beneath bark on standing trees. It feeds on small invertebrates. The armadillo girdled lizard possesses an uncommon anti-predator adaptation, in which it rolls into a ball and takes its tail in its mouth when frightened. In this shape, it is protected from predators by the thick, squarish scales along its back and the spines on its tail. This behavior, which resembles that of the mythical Ouroboros gives it its taxonomic name. It hides in rock cracks and crevices. It lives in social groups of up to 30 to 60 individuals of all ages, but usually fewer. The behavior of Mauritian giant sink is not well documented by any travelers to Mauritius when it was extant, however it probably shared behavioral traits with many other ground-based skinks. It was most likely an opportunistic omnivore that fed on anything from small invertebrates and even fruits. It was most likely a very tame animal that had relatively no fear of humans which might have played a part in its extinction. Indonesian blue-tongued skink is endemic to the island of New Guinea and other various surrounding islands. They are found typically in the rainforest, and in captivity, require high humidity. It is the longest of all the blue tongues often reaching lengths that exceed 70 centimeters from snout to tip of tail. Shingleback skink has a short, wide, 
stumpy tail that resembles its head and may serve the purpose of confusing predators. The tail also contains fat reserves, which are drawn upon during brumation in winter, during which many lizards perform a behavior similar to hibernation except they require water every day, but can go without food. This skink is an omnivore. Like other species of whiptail lizards, the six-lined race runner is diurnal and insectivorous. It is most active the morning on clear days between late spring and early summer when the temperature is closest to 30 degrees. They are wary, energetic, and fast-moving, with speeds of up to 30 km per hour, darting for cover if approached. Aggressive behavior is common, as the dominant will chase the subordinate and often follow up with a bite to signify dominance. Around 12 cm long, Slavoja had a compact skull, small eyes, shovel-like hands and slightly reduced hind limbs, all features that indicate it was a burrowing animal, digging tunnels and feeding on underground invertebrates. Its exact relationships are uncertain, but recent studies have suggested it was an early amphisbenian, representing a point in the group's evolution before the full loss of their legs and the development of their extremely long worm-like shape. Like all other amphisbenians, Mexican mole lizard is a burrowing species that only surfaces at night or after heavy rain. It uses its autonomous tail as an escape tactic for predators. Losing a part of the tail while burrowing can plug up the hole behind it, giving it time to escape. The species is a generalist predator that feeds on easily accessible prey found in soil. Its skin is closely segmented to give a corrugated appearance, and like earthworms, its underground movement is by peristalsis of the segments. Its blunt head allows it to burrow into sandy soils efficiently. Due to its subterranean lifestyle, the Iberian worm lizard exhibits characteristically small, primitive eyes. These eyes leave the lizard with almost a complete inability to see, only distinguishing changes in light intensity. However, it has made up for its lack of sight through the development of a chemosensory signaling systems. Chemosensory signaling is mediated by the extremely sensitive vomeronasal organ on its head. The response to individual chemical stimuli can be measured by counting tongue flicks. Lacertids are remarkably similar in form, with slender bodies and long tails, but have highly varied patterns and colors, even within the same species. Their scales are large on the head, which often also has osteoderms, small and granular on the back, and rectangular on the underside. Most species are sexually dimorphic, with the males and females having different patterns. Oscillated lizard is found in various wild and cultivated habitats from sea level up to 2,000 meters in southern Spain. It is rare at higher altitudes. It prefers dry, bushy areas, such as open woodland and scrub. It feeds mainly on large insects, especially beetles and snails. This is a robust lizard with a serrated collar. The male has a characteristic broad head. It has thick, strong legs, with long, curved claws. The dorsal background color is usually green, but sometimes gray or brownish, especially on the head and tail. The viviparous lizard is named as such because it is viviparous. This refers to its ability to give birth to live young, although the lizards are also able to lay eggs. The origin of this characteristic is under debate. Some scientists argue that viviparity evolved from oviparity, or the laying of eggs, only once. The lizard is also unique as it is exclusively insectivorous.
members of the genus Tachydromus are extremely slender in appearance. The tail is about two to five times as long as the snout vent length. The International Union for Conservation of Nature lists the green grass lizard as near threatened due to invasive weasels and mongooses that have led to a decline in some subpopulations. Male sand lizard are known for their bright colorations and aggressive behaviors when competing for females. Their mating process is unique because of its relatively short time period and because males are generally more selective with who they mate with than females. They spend most of their time basking, foraging, or under vegetation and prefer to live in diverse habitats. Males have their own home territories that are very wide and often overlap with other males. They can live for up to 10 years and because of this relatively long lifespan, they are sometimes subject to inbreeding and producing malformed offspring. Common wall lizards rely both on visual and chemical signals to communicate with conspecifics. Male wall lizards are equipped with femoral glands, which produce a waxy secretion used for chemical signaling. Both the proteinic and lipophilic compounds in the secretions are known to carry socially relevant information. Fossils have been found in a cave in Greece dating to the early part of the Holocene. 